well simple is Canada's fastest growing investment management company and um, you know it's our mission to make smart investing simple accessible and transparent for everyone through the use of technology I'm not going to spend much time talking about us, but just a little bit about our business. I, I think it's a little funny that I got asked to speak about change tonight. Um, our business is about 20 months old. We haven't been around that long. We're very new. I feel like, um, on the one hand, everything is about change. Uh, you know, we went from one person with an idea to now 50 people in 20 months. I feel like my role is reinvented every two or three months. Um, we've raised $30 million in capital from a major strategic partner, a company called Power Financial, one of the largest in financial services companies in the world. Uh, we've acquired a business. We've run Super Bowl ads. Uh, we won the best financial services website in the world, um, all in 20 months. So I feel like I'm constantly living through change, but I don't have a great framework around it. I wish I had a four-box model when I went through all this sort of stuff. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about our journey. Um, how, we think to, how we think about building the business, and I hope that that's uh, helpful insight for you guys as you think about your, your companies and, and uh, where you're going. Don't think I need to spend any time here. You guys all know this already. Um, nice to be in a kind of forum of, of other founders and CEOs and executives that uh, it's a really messy process. You know, even when you do have a great framework around how to think about it, it's never easy, um, and uh, that's part of the fun of all this stuff. So when we think about um, change, you know, I think about uh, trying to solve real problems. Um, and I think this is a really important part that, that we've observed every time that we've had to go through a major change at the company, is, is really understanding the problem that we're solving. And, and the best example I can give here is when we set out to start this business 20 months ago, people looked at me and thought I was crazy. Um, you know, I was 26 years old at the time. I'd never worked in financial services. Um, I just moved back to Canada from the Valley. I didn't know anybody in the industry. Uh, so people said, so you want to start a regulated business, uh, take on the banks, and you know nothing about this industry, you've got no team behind you, you've got no capital, you know, how do you make that possible? And um, the only way that I knew how to do it was to start with the simplest possible solution. Um, and so the very first version of Wellsimple to try and solve that problem um, and change the industry was a spreadsheet. I built a very simple model that I sent around to 20 friends and I said, here's how to manage your own investment portfolio. You know, you don't need to hire an investment advisor, you can do it yourself. Here's how to set up a great portfolio of ETFs, here's a man how to manage it all on your own. Uh, would you use it? 20 friends started using it, um, but the feedback they gave me was, Mike, we love the model, but if you actually did this for us, we'd pay you a little bit of money for it. So finally, I, you know, all of a sudden I had 20 customers. Um, with a spreadsheet and nothing else. I didn't have to go you know, through the whole regulatory process. I didn't have to go out and raise millions of dollars of capital. Uh, I didn't have to go build a technology stack to go actually deliver this first solution of the product. And so we started with the very simplest thing that we could think of, which was a spreadsheet. And from there, iterated. And you know, in 20 months, it's iterated several times. You can see some of the different brands and colors and you know, tools that we've used along the way to what the service is today. And you know, now we manage about a half billion dollars for 15,000 clients. Um, and I think that that's the only way that I would think about change is, and we still, you know, very much this is baked into our DNA, is starting with the very simplest solution that you can for whatever problem you're trying to solve. So the two key messages in that part was understand the problem you're solving, and then what's the simplest possible version of an answer you can come up with? You know, what's your spreadsheet? Um, and I like to deliver that, that sort of idea. Um, second is, you know, I find a lot of people get stuck on this idea of change as this big, hairy, scary idea. You know, um, you gotta make a big plan, you gotta have a, a really thought out idea about what the next 12 months or the roadmap of this change is gonna be. And in certain circumstances, I think that's absolutely essential. Um, you know, in an acquisition and kind of integrating teams, you have to be really thoughtful about it. In others, you can actually, um, I find, test and uh, hack your way to a solution. So one of those examples when we launched the business was this idea that we were a technology company and we wanted to deliver a digital experience for our clients, totally paperless sign up. You know, who wants to walk into a bank branch to open up your investment account? Um, but the problem we had was that the industry would not support this sort of service when we, when we launched the company. And so our first version of the business um, we created a, a website which was really just like a Google form where people could t fill out all of their information that we would need to fill out an investment account. And every night, uh, my co-founder and myself would print out 
you know, applications for every single person that had signed up and fill out with, with a paper and pen and drive it up to our brokerage uh, and deliver it that night to open up an investment account um, for all those clients in the first kind of six months of the business before we could actually deliver that solution. So again, you know, what are the simplest possible ways that you can solve the problems that you're trying to, to solve in your business? Um, and it doesn't always have to be you know, a grand polished solution, um, at least in the first instance in my experience. This was touched on in the last talk. Um, you know, none of this I think is ever possible without a great team. I think there's some awesome uh, leaders and founders out there that um, are true visionaries. I'm certainly not that. You know, I'd never been, we would never have been able to kind of pull off uh, an acquisition, um, scaling a company to 50 people in 20 months, you know, Super Bowl ads, and deliver the sort of growth that we have without amazing people around us. So I think, you know, in whatever change you're going through, um, I think a big question is around the team and making sure that you have the right team around you to be able to execute these sorts of things. And I think most recently, you know, our company has started to enter a new phase in, in our chapter of growth where I think I've had to become a lot more thoughtful about um, how we think about this on a much longer term basis. And the thing I found most helpful to us is developing a clear sense of company values. You know, if you have a way to relate to your company values, um, it always makes, I think, change easier to come back to it if it's something that the company believes in. You know, in the context of having a framework, you know, what are the reasons that moving from one box to the, to the other or the positives or the negative makes sense? If you can relate them back to something that's truly part of the DNA around values, I think it's a really powerful tool um, in anyone's toolkit. And these are kind of the five values we have at Wealthsimple. And I found even, you know, in the six months that we've really, really tried to codify these as a company, um, that they're used in daily language. You know, they're used to shape the culture that we're building, they're used in the hiring that we have, and when we think about setting the aspiration about the business we're building, um, this has been a really powerful tool in, in our toolkit to get there. And that's it. Um, tried to keep it short for you guys, but thank you so much.